So we've had a bit of a disaster already today. You'll have to watch the second channel to see what that was and what chaos I've caused. I will also say there's mosquitoes. So if you see us itching and moving about, it's because we're getting bitten. So yeah, we're gonna head up over the top of here to something I've never seen anything like this before, no, I'm, ever. I'm excited for this one. I am as well. I'm always excited, but I'm excited for this one. Something completely different, isn't it? Definitely. Right. We're going to get off and get up there and we'll see you in a minute. A great start. Big swastika on a wall. That's not what we normally look for. Oh my God. If you could see what was up to my right hand side, you would be extremely shocked. Let's have a look. Now, I think there might be somebody else here. I've heard voices. So let's head up. is crazy under the tail of a plane look at this so you've got a big control room in the middle there oh i didn't know i've seen clips of this and i ain't seen it all there's an helicopter up on there as well two full-size planes a control room and then you've got all the buildings around the outside as well swimming pool was it was it a swimming pool jesus look at the color of that that's manky a bit weird a bit weird having a swimming pool here don't it when it's supposed to be a restaurant yeah exactly uh, was it like a resort though well not a resort but like could he stay over do you think like a hotel i don't know i don't i haven't seen any clips of rooms or anything by any, anybody like like a hotel no i thought it was something like like some deeds what i've the two planes are uh, where you actually eat. The, oh, right. the, these are the restaurants. But then you go and sit down in the in the plane bit. Yeah. Um, so you're sitting out in the plane bit, and I think that bit is where that's prepared for. You just bring it out. Oh, let's go and I have think. a look. Let's go and have a look then. This is looking. Just looked in through here. Like a massive. I don't know. That's a pizza oven at the back. But what would that be for? Grilling chicken. Grilling. We're going to paella, but we're not even in Spain, are we? Well, no. We can eat paella in other countries, you know. I know, but you know what I mean. It's been absolutely smashed up in here. What a shame. <laughs> Rotary chicken. Oh no. But that was like kebabs. Yeah, it could be. Right, let's go and look in some of the other bigger buildings. Imagine as a kid. And your mum yeah. and dad bringing you here. I mean, the novelty of it would be sound, wouldn't it? You'd be, built, you'd be absolutely buzzing to eat your food off a plane. Yeah. Without being on a plane and having plane food. I'm going to on a plane. I'm <laughs> eat some dinner. Yeah, actually, you might be really disappointed. Oh, we're going on a plane today. Oh, brilliant. Where are we going? Oh, no, we're not going anywhere. Let's eat some pizza. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go and have a look. What's this say? Two people's heads. Looks like me and you. Ooh, sort of. If you get rid of that bit of hair there, that's me and that's you. Look. Sound. Definitely. Tribute to us. Supposed to be happening in a few years, that. What? We can have our own restaurant? Would anyone come to the Finders Beepers restaurant there? 
Jesus Christ. I'm guessing there's been a fire in here then. What the hell is happening here? What was in that bit to start with? Yeah, what would have been underneath there? Would it? Like a fire pit? Yeah. Well, they've left it on. Burnt the chicken. <laughs> now, you've seen the videos, haven't you? I haven't seen much of, well, I've seen the majority outside. But yeah, majority. you've not seen the inside. Not seen the outbuildings, no. So I'm guessing it didn't look like this. Look at this, what a shame. I know they're only like, they're not real. They're like made for a restaurant or whatever. But someone's just smashed them to pieces. Yeah. What an absolute shame. It's like, it's all themed in here, look. Like, almost medieval banqueting, isn't it? It is in this bit, isn't it? Yeah. But, you know who's been here and smashed it up? The Nazis have been in. Germans. You can't say the Germans. Bondar chippy. <laughs> you can't say the Germans. You, you can say the Nazis because... Germans aren't well, some Nazis. Nazi followers, aren't they? Being in. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. That's it. That's a better way of putting it, Andrew. Allegedly. Allegedly, they've been in, or allegedly the Nazis. Allegedly Do you think they're going to sue you? Is that why you're saying allegedly? Just in case you I get don't sued. Want to find me. Well, we've already got Russian army after us. Nicholas van Hoogstraten after us. Right, just a, it's, pussycat, isn't it? <laughs> it's like Roy. Mine's the ginger pubes. Yeah. A little acorn dick. <laughs> what is that? Would that have been a water feature? Yeah, or like a fountain or something. Is a fountain not a water feature? No. It's the same thing. No. What do you mean no? Tell me the difference then. Uh, a water feature could just have like little trickles like that, which go right. from level to level. A fountain could be spraying. Yeah, but a fountain is still a water feature. It's a feature that displays water. So is that a lake then? What? A yeah. lake is a feature and it's got water. Technically then, yes. It's just a big water feature. <laughs> <laughs> is that my, my penis is a water feature? Well, it does dribble, like you were saying. Exactly. And then bones. <laughs> You've got that. Like butter, can it? <laughs> Look at that. Right, realistically, who's got a back like that? Me. We know that's not true. I've already seen you in your underwear far too often in the last couple of days. How can you say that? What I, do you mean? I've seen you more naked. You've seen me more naked than what? Than anybody else in the past two and a half years. You haven't seen me fully naked. Not far off. Would you fuck off? <laughs> I don't know the door here. This one's closed. Remember this one? <laughs> Contortionist, do you? Get in then. Oh, Jesus, they're hitting me <laughs> now. <laughs> That's locked now, isn't it? We're screwed. We're in here for life. Oh, yeah. Nothing exciting in this bit, I don't think. Just kitchen stuff, and fryers and things. So, whoever's painted this, pretty good, aren't they? Is it painted? I think it is. I think, yeah, I think you actually awesome. might so be. Like, not like brushed, but like sprayed, if you like. Yeah. Either way, it is, it's pretty cool. But the problem is, I reckon it's in the wrong place, this. Yeah. People won't have come because it's right next to the motorway and the access isn't very easy. Not Jesus sure. Christ, look at that. It would, it would have been amazing in here. Quite often, I would. Also, they probably the prices are so high to make up for the amount they've spent on this place. Oh, look at that! Look at the size of that. Go and stand next to it, Andy. That comes up the rug. And that's what you you impressed with a rug. And we always on. Look at that. That's a good. 10 foot, 12 foot. Easy. Huge. This is well decorated, isn't it? It is, it's brilliant. I know we've banged on about it a bit, but it is because when you're actually in here and you can see it, and then you sat eating your meal, looking at all this painting, 
You look out a window and there's just a plane. Just gives you a bit of a better view here, look. It's just brilliant. It's amazing, this place. Is it Leonardo da Vinci's? Oh, look, in fact, it says Michelangelo da Vinci. Da Vinci. Was that the name of the restaurant, do we think? Possibly. It could be. I know what you mean about an artist's palette. It is, definitely. It's got blobs of paint on it and everything. Let's have a look how much everything was. So, linguine. Oh, these are like, I think these are starters, possibly. Linguine a scampi, seven euros 80. And then, just look how much things are. Oh, there might be main menus. I don't know when it was open. It's quite an odd thing to compare, to combine though, isn't it? So you've got Michelangelo da Vinci, airplanes. It's, a, it's an odd thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, that's the two people that were on the floor then, outside, the faces. Yeah. And then... Michelangelo and da Vinci. Yeah. So is that Leonardo da Vinci? Yeah. Who, did he make the first helicopter? Yes. The corkscrew helicopter. And lots of other, and other lots things of other as things. well. Yeah. Didn't know he knew that, did you? Well, why would I know that he knew that? And also, oh, okay then, that, that, thing you've just done with your two fingers then, sticking yeah. two fingers up, where did that come from? That come from France, that. And why? Um, it cost something in the war, but I can't remember what it said. So, the archers, oh, is it me that told you? Yeah, it is. So the archers used to stick two fingers up to say, look, you've not chopped my fingers off, because they couldn't be an archer if they chopped the two fingers off. So that's where that comes from. And that's why the Brits do it, and nobody else really does. Single finger is everybody else, we do the double finger. So that's why. That's why. Oh, Jesus. Literally. Jesus ain't got much of a beard on this, though. He looks a bit effeminate, and what's up with his eyelids? What's up with his eyes? <laughs> Mine are into I think he's, he's turned too much of that water into wine. Looks like it. And what's the guy with the beard next to him doing? Ah, he's thinking, I'm not insulting you. <laughs> not yet. Just the one finger. Yeah. And what's with faceless guy at end as well? <laughs> what's happened to him? That looks a little bit like me. It looks a bit like Billy Connolly. I, I'm confused by the whole scene. Like, what's this man doing with his arms? He was saying, saying to those two, him with the faceless man, he's saying, look at this twat. He's oh, got all attention. <laughs> He's bladdered. Have you seen his eyes? He's out of his head. Smacked off his tits. <laughs> Let's look at the other end. I'm going to have a look at the other end. Now that looks like a woman. There was a ghost next to her. Somebody. <laughs> What's up with his face? He's having a cop in a feel, isn't he? He's going to stab it. Look, that's where he's got it. done a knife, look. Is it a knife? You down on the table? With his pointy chin? No. Oh yeah, knife in his back hat. Why? What's with the positioning of his arm? It's like that, like an addiction. <laughs> Is it like that? Yeah. Have a look at your chin. Yeah, I'm having that. <laughs> and then, what's the guy with the hands doing? I think we've spent far too long on this picture, but it is quite good. No, is he a man? <laughs> Let's go. Come on, let's go further down here. I just can't imagine what it would be like. Is it just going to be like seat, seats as in normal plane seats? I think on normal plane seats, but instead of being in rows, like front to back, front facing to back, each facing other. Facing each other with a table. Yeah, like on trains. Yeah, exactly. Let's go and have a look up then. Look at the state of this though. People just can't come and enjoy stuff. They've got to smash it up. Winds me right up. What's it say? Lani Eri Italiani. Let's get up. That's insane. Oh yeah, look, there's an intact one here. What a shame. It's a nice quality table, glass tables, aren't they? It's a nice quality table. 
the private one in here because obviously they put the curtain. Is it the no, it's the ceiling. The ceiling. But I, I think they probably would have put some sort of curtain across and had, had big parties in here. You've got cuts and all sorts on the back of your head. Have I? Bites from mosquitoes. It's Eat the lamb. Comfortable? Not comfortable? Apart from the glass. Apart from the glass on my bum, yeah. Yeah, that won't be so great. No. Yeah, Good though. Probably will be, be all right here. Yeah. Little party, little intimate party, be fine. Yeah. It'd get hot in here though, because I'm boiling. It's red hot in here. Yeah. So just think what it'd be like when it was full of people, all yeah. eating food. But the thing is, wouldn't your food be cold by the time it got here? They've got to take it outside. Or does it come through that other building in the middle, did you say? I thought it come through that other building in the middle, but it don't. God knows then. Oh look, we're back to the back of the head Andy show. As it always is. More popular than anything else back of my head, isn't it? <laughs> look at this. Look at that. I'm thinking why are both steering wheels doing the same thing? But it's not like one person can drive one way, fly one way, and the other person flies other. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, no, it doesn't. So, I wonder how, the, how long these things have been out of commission for. Well, look a bit. 70s, 80s? Yeah, 30, 40 years probably. Yeah. At least. Oh, look, I don't know all these up here. Cowl flaps. Oh, it's all in English. Cowl flaps. Oil cooler doors. Water injection pumps. God, imagine learning. Like, learning to drive is one thing. Imagine knowing all these switches, because there's hundreds Flaps. all over. Rudder. Mixture. You're on mixture there. Mixture. Altitude. Longitude. Attitude. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. Oh, you can see the other nose. Now, there is a door around this corner that does go through to here i'm guessing like andy said it's the food preparation in this middle bit and they brought it all through for you a bit strange Let's sneak out this window oh there they come whoever it is is coming hey <laughs> we're not used to bumping into other people are we when we're exploring it's like bollock on that Nothing like. <laughs> Let's carry on round. I don't. We're not used to having other people round us. Weird, it's really strange. Really good though. Yeah. They re they look as scared as we did when we first walked in, but yeah, they sound a little bit more excited now. Yeah. So they sound Italian anyway. It must be local. No, I didn't say you need to sound Italian. No. Ciao. You just sound like you're talking about a dog or something to eat. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Let's keep going. But they've been caught by the police. They're just down below us. And the police are telling them off by the sounds of things. So we need to just keep going round, but keep out of his way. because if you're above his head he's probably going to hear you stepping up on things yeah. it's just let's keep up here out of the way all of a sudden we heard the policeman starting to make his way back up the stairs to see if he could see us so we went and hid on the fire escape once the policeman made his way back down again i rushed back inside but andy didn't manage to get back in in time and the policeman spotted him so Andy was arrested just like the rest of the group and was led away back round to the police car. It meant that I didn't have a great deal of time to go around and make sure that we saw the rest. In my haste, the sound on these clips aren't very good. So I did my best to show you everything I possibly could. I'm gonna go this way. I don't want, obviously not gonna be leaving behind. So don't worry about that. But 
I can get some more filming done before I show you a little bit more of the place. I'll work out, see if I can see him. Right, I've just seen him walk off in that direction. So Andy will have gone back to the car. The problem with that is I've got the key, I think. Oh no, I haven't. He's got the key. So he can go and get in the car and hopefully I'll be able to get round and show you something else. So I'm going to try and get down to the helicopter. Have a quick look in the helicopter and then go back to Andy. show you. I have a horrible feeling when he sees Andy can't drive off. He's going to start asking questions. Oh god, this is deep. This water. Let me show you. never realised how basic it was in an helicopter. Your brakes, your shed guessing, your controls over there. I should probably go back round to Andy. So like I said, we don't leave someone behind, but we do try and get as much footage as we possibly can. And this is me doing that. So I got a phone call from Andy to say that the policeman knew I was there because the car wasn't registered to Andy, it was registered to me. As I was attempting to climb down off this flat roof on the right hand side, I slipped and fell off and really, really hurt myself. You can see the height I dropped from this roof down to the floor and I went with a bang and I limped back to Andy. I've really hurt my leg, I've really hurt my hand and obviously I've done that as well. I'm going to go back to Andy and see if the policeman's gone. But I'm sure we'll be fine, don't worry. Right, so we we haven't been arrested. We've been we've had our details taken and we've been told we need to leave the area. But I'm in quite a lot of pain at the moment. So I've done this, which I don't know if you can tell, but it's really sort of swelling quite a lot. I've cut my finger like right where my ring is as well. There. And the bit that I can't show you, I don't think, but I'll try, is just down there. Now, that's it's a big bruise. Um, I don't think it's a graze, I think it's a bruise, and it went with a right crack. Really, really hurt. So, we've had, it's been good. I'm glad we got in. I'm glad we got to see everything pretty much that we wanted to see. Yeah. Um, I know you didn't get to see the helicopter, but it weren't, you had to walk through a massive puddle to get to it anyway. Um, so yeah, we are going to head off now because he has told us we need to get out of the area pretty quick. So we will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Find us, be persistent seekers. We'll see you soon.